Hello everyone and welcome to this Bushmaster conservation project video. The corona crisis has us locked up far away from the natural beauties of the world and like many other scientists we're unable to travel and venture out into the wild to do fieldwork during this time. Luckily our colleagues down in Costa Rica are doing a splendid job with the Bushmasters. Earlier this week they successfully implanted the Wok, our first male Bushmaster, with a radio transmitter. Very exciting news to say the least. To top it off, they surprised us with a cool video of them going out to the field tracking Eva, a large female that we've been tracking from the very beginning. With this video, our local Costa Rican herpetologists Graven Corrales, Sebastian Hernandez, Randall Arguedas and Aaron Gomez would like to give you all a glimpse of what it's like tracking these amazing animals in the field. We invite you all to sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm here with Randall Arguedas, he's Hi. our veterinarian. So I just want to give you some updated news tonight, uh, today. We already worked with our second specimen of Lachesis Asenobis. Uh, Randall did a successful surgery, uh, implanting the radio transmitter, so maybe you can tell us something about it. Yes, we did, uh, we put the radio transmitter on the specimen. He's a male, he's a very large uh, individual, he's about two meters long and four and a half kilos a little bit more so right now we're going to look for the forever the first one and we are so um, happy with that to connect so we're looking uh, forward to find some some night activity about eva uh, about Diwat, that is our second specimen he is gonna rest tonight tomorrow we will apply some antibiotics looking forward to release it back to nature so we can keep tracking it uh, every second day probably so we will find some some good information about him we now have one female and one male which is great tonight we are looking forward for Eva and we found her during the day uh, about Sebas and his daughter they are doing the tracking every second day and they are finding very good information about the mammal virus they are using to, to hide but let's see what we can find tonight Sebastian is gonna join us Aaron is gonna join us and his daughter so we are a very excellent team let's see how it goes, how it goes. Tracking snakes like these in dense tropical rainforests is no easy feat. It usually takes a while until our responder receives a signal and even then following the signal can be quite challenging and sometimes even dangerous. So guys, here we found already the frequency of Eva. It's very low and weak. So we have to, to move further to see if we can find it tonight. Let's go, follow me. <laughs> Tracking the bush monsters involves crossing streams, crawling through dense vegetation and scaling steep slopes. It's safe to say that you won't get out of the jungle with a clean pair of boots tracking these guys. It seems like a lot of work just to try and relocate a single snake, but considering the lack of data on the ecology of this species, it's more than worth it. So guys, I want to introduce you in the video, Sebas. This is Sebastian and his daughter right here. They are performing the, the, the radio tracking. So those are the heroes of the project. So you can film her, her face. She will be famous. Look at her. Yeah. Don't you move. Tracking these enigmatic snakes is a thrilling experience, each and every single time. 
even for our well-seasoned tracking teams, it's hard to explain the feeling you get when you get closer and closer to finding it. So here we just disconnect the antenna. When we get a high frequency without the antenna, that means that it's right next to us. But it's not very strong. So we will keep tracking with the antenna till we get a higher frequency. Unfortunately, we are in a steep bank, so it's very difficult to find it. We have a mammal barrel right here and they have subterranean, sub, subterranean cavities all around this area, so it's very difficult. Let's go this way. Shortly after, they got their first glimpse of Eva. Unfortunately, she was quite well hidden. Guys, we found it. Unfortunately, it's not completely visible. We found the mama barrel right there. It's about two meters in front of us. Unfortunately, we just get to see a part of the body inside of it. So here we have a, almost a two meters total length Bushmaster. Even though it's very difficult to see. Right there we can see the, the, the scales. This animal is a large female, one of the largest snakes in the in the world specifically the largest speed viper of the world so with this project we we want to believe and prove that these animals are not very rare but elusive with very specialistic behaviors ahí la vemos ahí bueno desde el Ayer que la encontramos acá, eh, es el primer registro de este punto, porque el lunes no pudimos llegar a monitorear, entonces si llegamos, eh, perdón, y entonces ayer ya estaba aquí. No sabemos si desde el domingo y lunes probablemente que se movió, porque hasta ayer lo encontramos acá. So that, that's very interesting. Four days ago they found it in a different hole mama barrow but yesterday during the day they found it right there in this mama barrow so it looks like an armadillo barrow but it's hard to tell which is interesting is that it's still in the hole and it's not active during the night so that's why we have to keep doing it you know to find different results during the day and during the night to see what is the activity looking like? After collecting some data on the microhabitats, the behavior of the animal and its surroundings, it's time for our team to head back to the station. And that rounds it up for this video, guys. We at the Bushmaster Conservation Project hope you enjoyed this small glimpse behind the scenes Hello. of our work in southern Costa Rica. And we hope to receive you all soon to experience a data collection day for yourselves down at the project. If you wish to support our project in these difficult times, please send us an email at info at bushmasterproject.com. For now, we hope you all stay safe and we thank you for watching.